what, what these things are doing though, by focusing on the future, is they're literally creating a virtual icebreaker, which we never had access to before from people that we didn't know, right? Because now you have that icebreaker. If I, I like the I, I like the LA Angels of Anaheim, kind of a goofy name, kind of upset about that, right? But if I feel like talking about the Angels, I can go on Twitter or I can go on any blog and it's strictly about the Angels and all the fans of the Angels, right? I can go on there and start talking about it right, right now. So that that's that's the idea, right? And there may be a fan that I've never known before, and then I can build common ground because we both like the Angels, and I can go meet with him at the game, you know, or her. Um, but that's kind of the, the you know, the, the building the rapport part, the, the, the co kind of the core of networking. But when it gets down to business, right, you have access to people in your industry now. You know, I think a lot of you guys are in the IT industry. You can literally go find <laughs> tailored things in your industry, probably a social network just in that industry. So you have access to all these people in that in your industry. And I think for job seekers, which is important to a lot of people because unemployment is what it is, right? The economy is what it is. And you know, we were talking about how people take the systems approach versus the people approach. And the system approach hardly works, right? We've talked to recruiters, we've talked to people companies that hire people, and that never works, right? The whole, when I graduate, let me throw out my resume and career builder or monster and see what happens. Guess what? It's in a black hole, you're never gonna get a call back, and if you do, it's some, um, hey, work from home and make $100,000 a year, right? Yeah. You know, that, that's what it seems like, right? So, you wanna take that people approach, and now you have access. We have so much access and information to these people that, we, that will be relevant for our careers, right? So if you are in IT, or say, say you want to work for Procter & Gamble, right? I could probably go find on Twitter, on Facebook, on anywhere, I could Google Procter & Gamble employees and probably find a Procter & Gamble employee, right? So what do I do? I jump into one of their conversations that they're talking about, where they're on a blog, or where they're talking about what's on their mind, or go to their Facebook and see what their interests are, and start talking to them, and going through people, build a relationship with that person. Because what's going to happen is you're, is that at the end of the game, you want to work for Procter & Gamble, right? Getting referred by a Procter & Gamble employee to their hiring department is way better than them seeing your resume through Monster, right? So I, I think there's a ton of advantages through social media as far as networking because it's, it really mimics the way we communicate in real life.